Hello everybody, my name is Eduardo Dominaga, I'm a doctoral researcher at the Center for Wireless Communications of the University of Oulu, and in this video I will present our new paper, the name is Statistical Analysis of Received Signal Strength in Industrial IoT Distributed Massive MIMO Systems. This paper was accepted for the European Conference on Networks and Communications that will happen together with the 6G Summit this year in Grenoble, France, in June. But the preprint of this paper is already available on archive and you can check the link on the description of this video. In this work, we compare the performance of a centralized massive MIMO deployment and different distributed massive MIMO deployments. In the case of centralized massive MIMO, as you can check in figure A, there is a base station with many antennas in the center of a square area. We also consider two different spatial distribution of access points. A grid deployment of access points, as you can see in figure B, where the access points are positioned in the ceiling of the square area, and the radio stripes deployment, where radio stripes with access points are deployed around the walls of the square area. And in the case of distributed massive MIMO setups, we consider two different kinds of deployments. A partially distributed massive MIMO, where the access points are equipped with multiple antennas, and totally distributed massive MIMO, where all the access points are equipped with a single antenna. Our envisioned applications are related to critical machine type communications in beyond 5G and 6G networks, for example, critical industrial automation. So our main objective is to determine which configuration provides wireless links with higher dependability levels. The small scale fading is modeled as Rayleigh, which represents a rich scatter environment, while the large scale fading, that is, the path loss and shadowing, is modeled according to a model validated by 3GPP for indoor industrial scenarios, and this model was obtained using measurements in a real industrial scenario. We then evaluate the received signal strength and the variability of the signal of a single active device. The received signal strength is represented by the average channel gain, while the variability of the received signal strength is represented by the coefficient of variation of the channel gain which is a relative standard deviation of the channel gain. For each setup, we evaluate the performance for a typical case and for the worst case. And Monte Carlo simulations are performed for several channel realizations. In this figure, we can observe the results related to the macro diversity gain. We plot the complementary cumulative distribution function of the channel gains of this active device, considering the centralized massive MIMO deployment, the partially distributed and totally distributed massive MIMO deployments using a grid distribution of access points, and the partially distributed and totally distributed massive MIMO deployments utilizing red stripes. On the left, we have the results for the typical case and on the right, we have the results for the worst case. In this work, we also study something called signal spatial diversity. Now we consider only the totally distributed massive MIMO deployment with the grid distribution of access points. And instead of using all the access points to decode the signal transmitted by the active user, we now consider that only the subset of QAP access points closest to the device are utilized to decode each signal. The goal is to minimize the interference that the active devices cause to each other. Here we again plot the cumulative CDF of the channel gains 
of the active device for the typical case on the left and for the worst case on the right. And here we compare the performance achieved for the cases where only the closest access point is utilized to decode the signal transmitted by the device and when 4, 8 or 16 closest access points are utilized and also the case where all the access points are utilized to decode the signal. Thank you very much for watching this video and please check the preprint of our paper and subscribe to our channel.